Hello, today I'm going to show you how can you navigate through tasks when they are connected, when they have predecessors and successors. For this purpose, I created a very simple project with six tasks, but uh, imagine that you have a much larger project than that. So, what can I do? I can go to task 3, for example, and if I click on task 3 on information, here down there, I will see all tasks on which task 3 is depend on. So if I want to see information about my task 1, which is predecessor of task 3, on which I am currently, as you can see, I can just click on task 1 and it will jump to task 1 and it will show me all necessary information about that predecessors. If I go to task 4, for example, I can also click on task 1, task 2, or any other task on which task 4 is dependent. So let's say task 2. I want to see information about task 2. And if I click here, I will jump to task 2. I will see its duration, its effort, uh, completed remaining total effort, and on which task depends also task uh, 2. If I go to task 6, for example, which depends on one task 1, task 2, and task 3, I will click on task 6, and I can now easily jump to task 1, task 2, or task 3, which are predecessors of task 6. Remember that. If I jump on task 2, okay, I will not see on task 2 that task 6, task 6 is successor of task 2, so I cannot jump to successor. I can only jump to predecessor. So from task 2, I can jump only to task 1, which is predecessor of task 2. So if I jump on task 1 now, I can see that task 1 has no predecessors uh, and uh, nor successors, but successors doesn't mean, uh, doesn't mean anything uh, to this, uh, uh, for this presentation because I cannot jump on them. So from task 1, I can jump nowhere. So I will go back to task 4 and I see that I can jump to task 1 and task 2. So to conclude, you can jump from task to only to its predecessors. If I go to timeline, for example, and I can now scroll to task, and I will see my task, and if I on task 4 or task 6, let's say, for example, I will see for task 6 all predecessors, and I can easily jump from this view, timeline view, to its predecessor. So from task 6 has three predecessors, task 3, task 2, and task 1. This is very useful uh, uh, thing, especially for timeline view, because it, it you can see here visually uh, uh, what uh, which tasks are predecessor. For example, for task C six, but you cannot see any further information. So if I want to see, let's say, uh, duration or re effort remaining or whatever for task, let's say three, I will go on. Ta uh, I will go from task six to task three, and I will uh, uh, I will be moved task 3, I will see everything about task 3. Last one, if you go to board and you want to see predecessors or something like that, you cannot do it. Why? Because board view doesn't show any dependencies. Dependencies are shown only on grid view and timeline view, and if you are on here, you can jump wherever you want, by that I mean on uh, on every single predecessor task, but uh, on timeline, uh, uh, on timeline, on grid view. But if you are on board view, and if you go, let's say, to uh, uh, task five, and you open this view, uh, this uh, uh, view, you cannot see here tasks on which task five is dependent on. So this is very useful thing, but you can only do it in grid view and timeline view, which makes sense because on board view you cannot see dependencies and it doesn't make any sense to jump from one task to another task uh, if they are dependent. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.